Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Beyond Authentic Health and Beauty where we're documenting our slimming world journey beyond. and beyond. I'm Lisa. I'm Rufus. And this is Albie. She's not going to sit like this. But this video is just a little bit of an update as to where we are with our health journey and basically what the hell is going on with my bladder cancer. So if that sounds interesting, what do they have to do? You're right. Yes, stay tuned. Yes, you tell them. Yes, yes, you tell them. Mm -hmm. So last time we checked in with you, I was just going for my cystoscopy. So that yeah. now, as we're filming this, is actually about a month ago, isn't it? Nearly, uh, around about a month ago. Um, and it took ages to get that sorted in the end. Um, but then when the appointment came, it was pretty quick, wasn't it, actually, when we did mm -hmm. the appointment. Um, and it was actually at St. James's Hospital in Leeds rather than at the Living Care Centre, which is where mm. I was going for the other ones. And it was really noticeable, wasn't it? The difference between the private and the NHS. Oh, yeah. Really noticeable, the differences. Um, which, of course, triggered all my anxiety. So I so said, what was it, the, the reason as well behind them moving you to, obviously, to... to Don't know. You said that maybe they, they had the... Maybe it's more money. Yeah, yeah maybe it's, it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Possibly. or maybe they were just trying to get the waiting times down oh, by maybe. sending some yeah. of them to your Possibly. for the, to the private Possibly. one. Possibly. Whatever the reason was, they changed yeah. it. So I'm just realizing. Look at the state of my hair. Um, but anyway, it was changed. Yeah. So we went for the appointment. Lots of anxiety. Um, I was expecting to be in surgery. Well, now it wasn't. I was expecting it to be sort of like back end of December. Um, and uh, yeah, so I went for the appointment, and it was. A very interesting result before i go on to that do you want to say where you are with slimming world we'll do we'll do it in bits so go on then so, do you want to do your your slimming world update and then we'll go back to the cystoscopy oh, i don't thing. even know how long have i been how long have i been so 18 months almost exactly yeah and i am now 13 stone four and a half pound lighter and i am uh where am i um about Maybe. well, you're exactly a stone away from yeah, your target. I'm a stone now. away from my target now. Yeah, exactly so one stone. To. I mean, I remember back to the beginning, like say since COVID, that I just couldn't, I couldn't walk from one room to another. I was you couldn't, absolutely, you couldn't walk from here to the bathroom. absolutely exhausted all the time. Um, <clears> and now like I say I get up, I do a lot more things. Um, I don't sit on my bum that much anymore. Only to um, film videos. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but no, I just, I feel so much better, like I say, in general. All the bad food I used to eat, you know, obviously I don't want to go back to eating how I used to eat, so I, I think every now and again I'm just going to maybe allow myself to have... Was that the door? Hang on a second. Pause. Oh, you're going to say hello? Alright then. You're going to film it with Mummy then? Hello! Ooh, you're a big boy now. Are you a big boy now? Are you? Yes. Hello. Yes. Wanted to say hello. Who say hello? Oh, now Albie's getting dead. No, look, Daddy's going to come back and sit there in a minute. Well, I said I am going to, I think now I am going to allow myself to maybe have Christmas Day, actually, because last Christmas I was on planet Christmas mm -hmm. and lost two pound or so that week. Mm -hmm. And I think even you did as well. So it's like... Yeah, we did. This Christmas, I'm actually going to maybe allow myself a mince pie or I'll allow myself to have something. And I've even saved a Toblerone as well that I thought, do you know what? I thought for maybe Christmas Day, Boxing Day, I might actually just let me air down a bit and just, you know, actually enjoy and have something that I like that I haven't had for such a long time, yeah. knowing that it's just a treat. And we've actually... Brought, instead of like buying a, a Christmas log cake, like in a, a bar, a big, cake. a big a big bit of Christmas cake, we've just bought some of the Kipling slices, little ones. I said so that there's a few slices, when they're gone, they're gone. So it's kind yeah. of like, you know, planning that things you're going to have in, and if they're in portion sizes, yes, I might put a pound or so on that, that week or whatever, but next week... The week after it'll be gone again so i think that's you know, a really healthy uh, change as yeah. well because you've not allowed that apart from when we've gone to harvester oh yeah where yeah. you've allowed yourself like yeah. a little bit of About mayonnaise or a little real. bit of 
and yeah, some, fr and some fried things that have been on like um, our mixed grill and stuff like that, eggs and mm. mushrooms and things. And but even then, you've been mindful of it. Oh and yeah. Limited the amount. Oh yeah. So I think yeah. that's going to make a big change over Christmas. So. Yeah, meaning that you know I don't have to completely restrict myself from having no. a life as no. such. I can still have the occasional off meal once every now and again, knowing that I can go out, knowing that. I might put a pound or so on, mm -hmm. but then the next week I can take it back off. Yeah. And it's just been always monitoring myself and making sure that, you know, once I get into a routine and maybe having the odd treat every now and again, like my birthday, going out for a meal and maybe having a pudding or something. And then... Just... Although, to be fair, we've been to Harvesters yeah. several times over but the years and never puddings, once had no. a pudding. No. Even when we were off plan yeah. before Slimming World, weren't yeah. we? Normally, we're too full up. Yeah, we're too full up. We've had all the salad bowls we have and everything. Our, we have our salad bowls, yeah. we have our dinner, we thoroughly we enjoy it. And then we sit there and go, oh, I can't move. Do you no. want the pudding? And we've had, no, was I don't it want the, reef, the bottomless... Bottomless Pepsi. Bottomless Pepsis and whatever. Well, yeah, we do the, Pepsi uh... Max with strawberry and vanilla flavour. Yeah. Both of those together in one glass. Oh, it's so delicious. It is really it's nice. really nice. But, so you're yeah. still on plan. You're you're ticking along nicely. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't, didn't get weighed in last week, did I? So, no, but that's because yeah. you were poorly. Oh, yeah, we were a bit yeah. poorly, so... Whereas I haven't been weighed yeah. in for two weeks now because... Yeah. The last time I went to Slimmy World, I'd been on plan all week and I gained four pounds. So I just basically threw my dummy out. I was like, do you know what? I don't need the hassle because what it's doing for me, because I'm so stressed with the whole cancer journey, yeah. which we'll get back to. But because it's been so stressful and, and whether or not, like whatever happens in that journey, it's been in the back of my mind constantly, yeah. this thing of... I could be dead soon. I could be dead soon. I Worse than that, I could be really poorly or mm -hmm. I could be without a bladder. I think like being without a bladder and being really, really poorly mm -hmm. for me is worse than just it all ending. Um, so that's been really, really stressful. And one of the ways that's leaked out, unfortunately, is that my disordered eating, which is what we call eating disorders yeah. now, disordered mm -hmm. eatings, um, that is now just i have pretty much not lost control but it's it's very much in the dominance um which is just the stress coming out because i don't really smoke do i we don't drink we don't do any hard drugs or anything like that so all of the ways that people normally relieve stress i haven't got um and it's been really tough my mental health has really taken battering um and so the added pressure of when I've been on plan, getting on the scales and then not yeah. seeing a loss has been absolutely soul destroying. It's literally made me go, well, when I was at the warehouse this week, I could have had all the Mr. Kipling cakes and all of the sweets and donuts and things that are there. And I could have had all of it and gained four pounds. Mm. And I've been on plan that week. I've been on plan totally and still managed to gain four pounds. And I've counted my sins. I literally everything. Um, and so, yeah, so I just basically had enough. I was like, I don't need the added, added pressure. I'm staying on plan ish. I'm staying on plan. The food I'm eating is healthy. We're, we're making steps so that if I am going to have an overeating moment, then it's controlled because we don't have anything else in. Um, oh, you, well, you got your gluten free bread, didn't you? Bread yeah, I got some gluten free there. bread, so I had a little bit of that. Soy milk and soy yogurts. And soy yogurts, yeah. But apart from that, we're, I'm mm. sticking to it. Mm. I just don't need to be weighed at the moment. Um, and this last week has been, again, really stressful because my brain has had to change the expectations because of the cancer thing. Mm. Um, and I am getting some help and some support from Maggie's, which is a cancer care charity all over the country. I go to the one in Yorkshire in Leeds. Um, which is at just at St James's Hospital, and they are phenomenal. So without that, I think I'd be even more crook yeah. than I have been, to be honest. Um, but so yeah, so weight wise, I'm not even looking at it. I know what I was the last time I weighed in at that group. If yeah. I'm roughly around that in January, then I may well rejoin and try and refocus. Then, but until then, I'm just mm. allowing myself to let the stress go. Yeah. Um, and in fact, somebody that I was working with today that works for NHS Public Health, she was saying that my body at the moment will be grabbing hold of every single calorie and holding on to it 
because of the cancer. It's one of the things that the cancer can can mm. do. It, you either go one of two ways: you either hold all the calories, or you clear everything, and it's hard to actually keep food down. Mm. But obviously, for me at the moment, keeping food down isn't an issue. Um, but equally, eating on Slimming World and still gaining weight, it's a bit like where my body was mm. 18 months ago before we even knew that and I had still, cancer. It is still a bit more controlled rather than yeah, what it used to happen in the past, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's which more was, was just like <laughs> complete chaos yeah. sometimes. Just so I, I do whatever. have a goal in mind for where I want to get my weight to, and I do have a plan for next year to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just in the meantime, I just need to relax a little bit and just allow myself yeah. to recover, basically, because this is the news for the cancer. Uh, the first week of November, mm -hmm. we went for the cystoscopy, um, and a bit of confusion, being trans, she was like, put your legs up then, put your knees up in, I was like, no, like, no, other body parts. And she was like, oh, I didn't know. And I was like, oh, well, that felt good. Because I was like, well, you're not supposed to know, are you? But anyway, um, so that was all fine. They put a camera up and um, they didn't find any cancer. So when they did the, the camera, mm -hmm. you, you had to come in with me because I was just, I was a mess, wasn't I? I was probably, this was probably worse then going for the cystoscopy the first time when you were away mm. and I had to deal with it all on my own. This was worse because mm. I was just fully expecting them to go, oh, look, there's the cancer. We're going to book you in for surgery, blah, blah, blah. And I was just mm. dreading all of it. So when she went, oh, it, it, I can't see anything. I was like, mm. uh, no, 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 no. It was, it, was, it was there. And I said, it was literally where the last bit of the scarring was. It was just next right, to it. There were two dots. And she, she had a look, didn't she? And she was like, nope, look. And she's, she's literally doing this with a camera and showing me around. Yeah. And she says, no, there's nothing there. And look, there's nothing here. That bit's mm. clear. That bit's clear. This is the scarring. That's healed really nicely. Look at all of that. No, nope, it's clear. Mm. And she goes, oh, look at that. She goes, oh, that's a capillary. That's nothing to worry about. Mm. Do, do, do. That's another blood vessel there. Look, that's nothing to worry about. She went, there's a little bit of discoloration there, but that's yeah. nothing to worry about. That's normal. And she's going round and round yeah, like scarring this. Scarring or whatever. Yeah. And it was just like, I was like, hmm? can you show me again? I don't understand hmm. it. Um, because in the last three months, I've had to come off the gender clinic. Um, I've had to do, like, again, expecting more surgeries. Just, it's been hell. Um, particularly because I put a lot of my faith my my belief and my faith into the surgeries that I had and done a lot of workings and things to try and boost my health through that and so when they said three four months ago that it was it looked like it was coming back it destroyed me it was really really hard because it wasn't just it wasn't just my oh look the cancer's back it was also the fact that everything I'd done all of the workings and all of the all of the, the yeah the workings all the faith I put into it hadn't worked either and I was convinced that it had so to be told that it hadn't this last three or four months has been really really shit to then find out that actually it had all worked mm -hmm. and there well, wasn't you... cancer well so one thing you forgot to say before because you was worried before we went to the doctor's and they did the oh. bloods and that to check your bloods and got to see if there's any abnormalities in your bloods and stuff like that. And the results came back from that. And he said, oh, it's all come back clear. So, Which is why they, he then sent an expedition there. letter. Because he literally was like, if all your blood tests have mm. come back clear. Strange. And really? I'm still getting, yeah. like, even now, I get an occasional little bit of... Yeah. It's just like a speck, yeah. almost like a speck of yeah. a scab. It's really weird. You were saying that it goes it through. Could have just been a tiny little bit that was left in there from could have been all ages sorts. ago. You thought, oh, it's coming back and and it's going to grow, and now I've just got to wait and just let it grow, and then maybe they'll look at it and when it gets get to a certain size, get rid of it again. So that's you already had that in your head then already, mm -hmm. saying, you know, right, okay, this is what's going to happen. That's mm -hmm. I'm likely to have surgery again soon, and I'm like. You know, this is what we're going to do with that. And, and so from that. it just plays in your mind, doesn't it, constantly? Yeah. So, 
so yeah so the good news and it is good news i am still a little bit in shock though but the news is that i am currently cancer free and i don't need to be seen until may so you might be wondering why i'm not jumping up and down with joy and there's two reasons for that one to be honest i was in shock um i i was fully expecting to be literally either in hospital right now or having my having my surgery cancelled because of all the strikes right now but i was expecting it to be due any minute so that's really like even now that's still a bit like you what because mm. I, I really didn't believe it did i was like um i swore a lot i was like fucking fu Nothing what there. what the fuck what what don't believe what so but the second reason that i'm not jumping up and down for joy is because this particular type of cancer is very well known for kind of disappearing for a bit and then coming back so it will be i will be in a very small minority of people if it's a one and done or in my mm. case like two surgeries almost back to back mm. and done um and that's got rid of it all mm. now the only thing i think is the second surgery so both mm. surgeries i had they gave me the chemo stuff in, yeah. into the bladder so it's all directed mm. directly into the bladder and so the only thing i can think of is that actually both times that was enough to wipe out everything mm. um and mm. But yeah, so I fingers crossed. So it's cautious optimism right now. Um, the fact that I don't have to be seen for six months is amazing. It means that we can make plans. So early next year, we hopefully we're going to be able to go and down see your parents mm -hmm. um, and just family and just be able to make plans for doing something in the future, um, which we've not been able to do since March of last year, really, have we? Because that was when we found the cystoscopy and then it was chasing it through and chasing yeah, the, the surgery sure. and everything. Um, which is a long time to not be able to think about the future um so yeah so it is good news um i am officially so august the third is when the cystoscopy was the one that they, now they've said it was clear it was just inflammation so that is the date that it's going from for when i'm officially cancer free awesome. so i am august what's that like four months cancer free at this but point you, you could be like say one of the people that you know there are a percentage of people that it doesn't come mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. so i could be you could you just have to just it's just a waiting game mm -hmm. in it now just so wait and see the and the then. magic number is 24 months if you get to 24 months yeah. and there's no like reappearance of it that's when you're you it's class that you are um you're all clear that's yeah. when you ding the bell and you no longer have to worry about any of that so I've got 20 months to wait um but i'm four months into that process yeah. whereas i thought that that process wouldn't happen until maybe next year when i'd recovered from the surgeries yeah. so i am very 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 pleased at that very optimistic trying not to get emotional because it is really it's such a head fuck dealing with it all it really is and the stress has leaked out in lots of ways it's certainly leaked out with you hasn't it um and all i would say for anybody out there watching this if if my journey is inspiring you to get yourself checked or if my journey is making you think mm. oh fucking hell maybe i need to go and look like i've had some weird bits in my weed maybe i need to get that looked at like literally go and do it um mm. and if you are someone that's going through a cancer journey or any other health journey yourself yeah. look for some support please mm. There is support out there. There's specialist charities for most health conditions. If not, there's always people like the Samaritans, 116, 123, if you need that emergency support. Um, and I'll put the number on screen, but it's 116, 123. If you need that support, it's there. Please reach out. Look, we all know the NHS is struggling right now. We all know that like mental health services are being almost yeah. broken because of the number of people that have been affected Absolutely. with COVID and everything else. But reach out for help please because otherwise i know what it's done to my head and i've had an amazing support system like rufus and also the help of maggie's recently but i say your um, your appointment though like i say your next one even though they say may they did say as well if you're worried about anything between now and yeah. may you obviously get in touch and they can always move your appointment yeah. if you're worried about anything but then like, get so lots they, of spotting on and bits they do and your bloods and everything like i say they like i say that was a a really good test you obviously yeah. having that done the blood's done and all of that and obviously that's why it all came back clear yeah but yeah so that's our update um yeah. it's been 
a hell of a journey to get to this point. Oh, yeah. So, of course, I'm going to update you all in May when I go for the next cystoscopy. And if anything changes before then, I will let you all know. Um, in 2023, I plan to be back to some form of Slimming Worldy type thing. Um, and probably going back to the gym or trying to and trying to get healthier in terms of all of that basically i want to i want to lose as much well not lose as much but i want to have the same sort of transformation that rufus has had over the past few months i want to be able to get the weight off to where i want to be um so that is something that without the cancer hanging over yeah. my head and the effects it's had on my body hopefully fingers crossed we can start moving forward towards that yeah. Um, but we've got lots of more content ideas on this channel. We've been really, really quiet this past 12 months, obviously because of everything that's been going on with the cancer. It's taken mm -hmm. the forefront on every, everything, hasn't it? And even like, even when we've been feeling okay about diets and all the rest of it, mm -hmm. we just haven't had the strength, the will mm -hmm. and the, the arsedness to yeah. film. But hopefully that's changing. Um, I'm going to be updating all of the items for this channel over the coming weeks, ready for 2023, and I'll be doing that on the other channel as well. That Those changes have already started to happen. Um, hopefully we'll be back to doing weekly weigh-ins um, very, very soon. I know you're still getting weighed in every Wednesday, yeah. aren't you? I, like I say, I didn't get weighed in this Wednesday, just gone obviously because I was put a bit poorly. Um, but yeah, I, will be, poorly. I will be weighed this Wednesday coming, so... yeah. And then when I rejoin in 2023, obviously we'll follow that journey as well. Um, and then in the meantime, we've got some really cool recipes that we've been eating recently oh, that we cool. haven't filmed. We've got lots of really nice tofu and vegan style dishes, mm. as well as meaty ones, because although we eat a lot of vegan food, we yeah. aren't actually vegan. Um, so we've got lots yeah. of things that we've been cooking a little bit different to what we've done in the past. So we'll, we'll do a lot of those videos. But yeah, we will continue the journey next year. There's still going to be a couple of videos coming up for 2022. Yeah. Um, probably we'll do a video around Christmas when, like, <laughs> watch Rufus as he has his first chocolate in 18 months. Yeah. The whole Toby room looks like this. I know, right? But can you imagine? You'll be running around like a three-year-old on orange squashy numbers. You'll be running around going, mind. It's Christmas! Bear in mind, I'm on a no added sugar diet exactly. at the moment. Exactly, so that's what that's, I mean. I haven't you'll... had sugar for ages. Christmas Day, you'll be taking all three dogs out, going, like, come on, dragging them around the come block on, 15 man. times. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because you'll be like sugared up on Toblerone. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> and a mince pie. And a mince pie. Yeah. And a bit of Christmas cake. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the journey. Um, it, It's been a very tough, very weird, very strange 12 months. Um, and fingers crossed that next year is a darn sight better than this year. Um, but we're moving forward optimistically and you're going to see a lot more of us on this channel. Hopefully I'll be back to doing the get ready with me's every Thursday morning as well, very, very soon. Uh, and we're definitely going to be back to doing the weigh in Wednesdays. Even if it's only Rufus that's weighing in, we can still have our slim wheel chats and let you all know how we've been on plan. And if you want to see the meals that we've been eating and what we've had this week for our main meals, things like that, let us know down in the comments section because we have been taking pictures, haven't we? I do take pictures every day of what I've yeah. been eating. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to see those and you want me to put them together yeah. in a, like, a little voiceover yeah. video of what we've yeah. actually been eating, we yeah. can do that as well. Just let me know down below. Yeah. But that is going to be it for this video. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already, do all the YouTube things, the like, the subscribe and all of that. So we're just moving to one side so that YouTube can put a card just here with the cancer journey so far. And one just there. I know, look at that one there. Look at that one there. That's got our Slimming World journey on. So if you want to follow either of those, that's there. Yeah. Also, just in front of me or just in front of Rufus, I'm not quite sure which side it will go, there's a subscribe button. So it's probably right in front of me there. So if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and then ding your bell and YouTube that way should notify you each and every time we upload a video. But that is going to be it for us. I have to say, if you want to see any of our pictures of what we've been eating, leave a comment below um but that's going to be it from us and as we always say stay you stay true stay authentic and, and happy swimming bye-bye